Yeah, you know, John, uh, I just I just realized something. This uh, this vacuum gauge, it basically tells you how much your engine sucks. <laughs> your engine sucks more than mine. <laughs> it's you don't even need your friends to tell you. This gauge will tell you your engine sucks. Scientifically, I guess. Yeah, verified. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Daddy's Money Garage. Today we are uh, trespassing behind our old high school again, aren't we, John? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we're not very creative on where we go, so... Today I wanted to talk about something that I don't see a lot of info about because I looked for it myself for a long time. And uh, that's diagnosing problems with old cars and, like, how to do it, like, the proper tools. And modern cars, I mean, you know, use OBD, like OBD2, OBD1. Well, not OBD1, that's just kind of like... It's kind of like just a, like a Casio calculator that's just doing something. Um, but OBD2 will tell you exactly what's wrong with it, uh, and most of the time it's right. But on an old car, uh, you need a special tool. It's like OBD0, OBD-1, what would you even... Offboard off, diagnostics. Offboard diagnosis. Yeah. yeah. So, like, anyway, it's a vacuum gauge, okay? So, engine vacuum is the amount of pressure inside the manifold, the intake manifold, versus the pressure outside so outside atmospheric pressure and that's measured in uh, inches of mercury which i don't how i don't understand that measurement how do you what do you how do you even name that what is that do you know do you know where that came from um a long time ago i imagine it was like a thermometer like pulling mercury up it like there's a bunch of videos on using one of these things and like how to read good vacuum but there's not a lot about there out there about like diagnosing it like all the old school guys that know how to use this stuff they just memorized it and i don't even think many shops use these anymore so trying to find info on how to diagnose it if you haven't done it for 40 years is kind of difficult but there's this nice little chart that is mostly accurate it starts you know from from okay to oh god what like choked muffler i don't understand how to using one of these though really easy first thing you gotta do is warm up the engine which i've already done <laughs> that was fun yes <laughs> so we can just hook it up so let's go up here and hook this thing up on an edelbrock carburetor you uh actually on any carburetor any engine you want to make sure that this is hooked up to manifold vacuum and not ported vacuum below the carb yes yeah. the, the as long as it's below the throttle blades it will be manifold vacuum on an edelbrock carburetor your manifold source is the right side the left side is ported on a holly the port on the metering block is ported and the port on the base is manifold you don't want to read from from ported it won't tell you anything it'll be zero the whole time anyway so you hook it up and you start up your engine and you read the gauge and compare it to whatever's going on so let's start this one up i'll just hold this up for y'all so you can kind of take a screenshot if we can get focus This is uh, 18 inches of mercury, very steady, no problems at all. <clears throat> That's pretty nice. Glad I didn't break anything. Something to be said too, okay, like older cars sometimes came with a vacuum gauge. They just called it something else to like, I guess, sell more cars. Uh, they called it like a performance indicator or like fuel saver or something. It, all you need to know is that it was just a vacuum gauge. And I installed one on this car, right there, an old school vacuum gauge. There it is. And all that does is it's supposed to help you like measure your fuel economy. So right now, I'm getting excellent fuel economy. I don't under I don't even understand. How can you say that that's excellent fuel economy? I mean, like, what by what standard? Isn't excellent on that like 14? Like, excellent for what? I mean, I can hook it up to a Mack truck and it's getting excellent gas mileage and it's really getting like four. This engine is real healthy is very healthy and the needle is nice and steady 18 
inches of mercury. Now see, the thing is right here, so it says normal motor, needle steady between 17 and 21. Yeah, that's 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 good. Here's the thing though, if you have a cam, your your vacuum signal is gonna be totally different. So this number, I don't know where they came up with that, but I mean, you know, steady is fine. Steady is what you want. So that'll be normal for a 1960s pencil stick? Yeah. Yeah. So we need something that's actually gonna give us like, you know, something to read. Yeah. And, uh, well, the Cadillac's here. <laughs> we know that's gonna have something. So let's see here. So we know that this one's probably gonna have some kind of weird reading. So we'll hook it up to our ported vacuum, or manifold vacuum, set it up there. And then we're, we can see the gauge. And then we'll, yeah, we'll just look at the chart. Fire it up. Okay. Let's diagnose this thing. What's it, what's it doing? Wow. This thing makes 20 inches of mercury. It's a little jumpy, though. So it's a little jumpy, so let's see what this says. So, so going through the chart of uh, good to oh god, uh, my guess would be leaky valve. Needle drops two or more divisions when valve should close. Well, that's fluctuating. It's not. It's not exactly two, but I would assume that this car has leaky valves, just based on the history of this car. It, and it's a GM. Yeah, that's the most likely thing. It burns a little bit of oil, and the vacuum fluctuates quickly, but the vacuum's still high. So we know that not. It's not some horrible situation where the, the like muffler's choked or something ridiculous. It's not flying all over the place. It's just moving a couple of divisions and that says leaky valve. So, sounds like really the fix for this would be to just like pop the heads off and like lap the valves again or something. Oh, it could be a leaky valve guy. Yeah. It is a Chevy. Yeah. They kind of do that. Either way, that's how you diagnose one of these old cars with an old vacuum gauge. Uh, this chart, I did not make this, but take a screenshot of it. Do whatever you want if you don't know how to read one of these. And uh, I guess that pretty much wraps it up. Want to do more donuts? I'm, I'm down for donuts. Okay. You want to do Krispy Kreme or Shipley's? Oh man, Dunkin' all the way. Ew. Yeah, I'm that guy. No Name 500, I'm remembering this time. All right, I'm gonna pin a comment to this video. If you're trying to get to the No Name 500, you need 500 subs, comment on that comment. And everybody watching this, subscribe to them to help everybody get there, because we want to see everybody there. Like and subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, and it's like, do we need to put this uh, link down here somewhere for this little chart, or do you just want us to do screenshots? We can link it. I'll find a link. Yeah. I'll put that in the description. Okay. Catch you on the next one. Sounds good.